Welcome back to another pen talk. Those that watch uh, my videos may recognize this box. It's the uh, metal box that the Delike Alpha usually comes in. Again, with Chinese pens, you're not guaranteed unless the description says it and you may see a picture of it in the auction, whether it's going to come with any type of packaging other than a plastic sleeve. As you can see, it does show fingerprints, but it is a very well-designed package, reminiscent of a German pocket pen manufacturer. The cap pops off, and we see an Alpha pen. Alpha is the delight name that they apply to their pocket pens, which are representative uh, Caveco Sport, Mini, you know, a whole series that Caveco makes. I would say that these are in commemoration of those, but I think the like has gone one step further in, in certain aspects, and one of those is the materials that they make the pens out of. So, two things attracted me to this pen. Number one, it's a very professional looking color. I was trying to find the right adjective to describe it, and I think that's the one. I mean, it's a dark color, a dark brown with some lighter patches in it. Uh, Delight refers to this as Dimeo. It's a Chinese name, D-A-I-M-A-O. Here's the auction I bought, uh, bought the pen from Bobby. And the other thing that attracted me with this is it's made from an acetate resin, which is a blend of cotton fibers, a cellulose acetate, kind of reminiscent of what Omas uh, reported to use in uh, many of their pens. This is just a screw-off cap, you know, about one and a half turns. It was very nice that I was able to get it with uh, the bent nib, which I really like, the extra fine bent. The section is the same material as the rest of the pen. It's just a little bit darker. So when they, whenever they machined this section, it was out of a piece of the resin that didn't have as much of that light brown spots in it. You know, this unscrews and it has a standard size converter in it, kind of reminiscent of a platinum design. The uh, cap unscrews, which is what the problem was there. So, you know, it goes up and down very easily, easy to take apart. I like the fact that there's a metal section here, soft insert, so it's going to seal well and, and stay sealed and maintain its dimensional stability. The other thing I think we need to do is we need to take the trusty LED and take a look at how this resin is, is so nice. You can see the transparencies there. It's just excellent. As I mentioned before, it's it's a professional looking color. I mean, there's a lot of over-the-top resins. Uh, I'm certainly not adverse to buying a pen that looks like uh, it came out of a bubblegum machine, but this one certainly eludes a, a level of class uh, sophistication that a lot of pens don't have. And I, no, my light's getting a little flaky. I had to rewire it. But you get the idea that this this is just a nice looking resin and nice looking pen. And the other thing that's good about this cellulose acetate, it doesn't have any odor. At least this one has no odor, unlike many of the acrylic pens that we own. So the Delight Alpha comes in three types of materials now. We have the machined aluminum one which could be anodized and this also could be brass, lacquered brass, or you could take the lacquer off as I did in an, another video. These have the worn piece on it, which some people just find offensive and to me, doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Then the next version they came out with with this uh, interesting acrylics, which came in a number of different colors. This is the blue one, there was a green one, a yellow one, and maybe some other colors. And now they're experimenting with more exotic resins. And the feel of this, kind of like what they talked about with the Omos pens, is it has a different feel. You know, kind of like uh, those of you that like Ebonite, 
which feels different than plastic. This acetate has that type of natural feel. You know, it doesn't feel plasticky, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But all of these write the same. So for the writing example, I'm just going to use the blue pen for those of you that may not have seen how the Delike Bent Nib writes. And these also are everyday carry pens, everyday writing pens. Um, you know, you could potentially use it unposted, but they do post very securely, very deeply, and makes for a normal size pen. The section's a little bit on the small side. It's about as small as you're going to want to use it for. Not a pen that might suit everybody for long-term writing, but for jotting for notes as a pocket pen. It's a nice small pen to put in with your journal. Strongly recommended. So I'd be remiss if I didn't show the brass versions of this pen, which are substantially heavier, meatier, but this is how it comes originally. You can see that worn piece on the cap. It's, it's a heavy lacquer coating on this, which the advantages of no tarnishing. You get some nice little color variations where the lacquer thickened in some of the spots. This is one that I worked on to remove the lacquer, so you now have that, I think, a very nice raw brass color to it. And this has been sitting for over a month in my drawer, and it doesn't really oxidize or change much, but of course I haven't been writing with it. And this is the Diam Diamio, the cellulose one. As you can see, they're exactly the same size and shape, so clips will work from one to the other. But it's a great pocket pen, comes in many formats, and I really appreciate what they've done to expand the materials that they're using to make the pen. So before we put nib to paper, this is the ink that I have in it. I haven't done a review or anything on it. It's a good blue ink. I mean, this is a nice blue. As you can see, the nib lays down a nice wet patch of ink. And even though this is called an extra fine, it'll do a fairly broad line, which I'd say is equal to a broad. Reverse is good. Yeah, it's an extra fine. So I just like these bent nibs. I've not had one that I don't like. They're extremely smooth. So we'll call it X smooth. And as you can see, fairly wet. I think the Diamine Presidential Blue is a fairly wet ink uh, in, in, to begin with. And I'd put it into it was Shizuka Compeki, you know, Noodler's Base State. It's just a really nice blue. So I like that. So, we've reached the end of this quick video. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that acetate version of the Alpha. So, thank you for watching. So, this blue uh, Alpha is one of my everyday carries. It's consistent. It's good. I can leave it set for a couple weeks, uncap it, and it writes first time, which is really a pleasure when you're using a lot of fountain pens and you don't write with them all the time. It's... Uh, Frustrating when you take the cap off and it takes you a couple minutes to get it to write, but this one does not have that issue whatsoever. So we've reached the end of this video and may it encourage you to explore different types of nibs on, on pens. And the bet nibs I strongly recommend is everyday writer nib, um, a nib that you will not be unhappy with. So I haven't rated the, the Alpha pen so it's going to get a 9.0. I think it's a great small pen. They're light, small sections, but that's part of a small pen. You know, that's what you get when you go to the, go that route. But very easy to carry, very easy to throw in your pocket, purse, 
you know, uh, put into your journal, that little elastic flap that sometimes the larger pens won't fit into, so they have their advantages. So we've reached the end of this video. May you have a great pen writing day. Enjoy putting ink on paper. Until the next video, bye. Nice ink.